Citadel has established itself as a suspenseful thriller where nothing is as it seems from the first. Although Mason Kane was sometimes presented as a haughty, cocky secret agent, it was generally believed that he was on the side of good. In Citadel Episode 4, Kane is shown to have permanently erased the memory of Celeste, a fellow Citadel agent and the future wife of his, in order to cover Nadia's tracks since he thought she might be a mole. That question is finally addressed in the fifth episode of Citadel, titled, Time Renders Us Enemies, which also divulges all of Nadia's secrets. Nadia didn't betray Citadel to Manticore. Mason and Nadia save Carter from Manticore's black site in Citadel episode 5. Carter is soon persuaded that Nadia was the one who turned on Citadel to Manticore, and the three of them engage into a heated altercation. The opening scene of the episode shows Mason asking Nadia to marry him, but she quickly finds out about Celeste's memory purging technique. The Oz key device was stolen during Celeste's retrieval expedition, but she later confesses that she destroyed it because she felt that no one, not even Citadel, should be in possession of it. She also rejects Mason's proposal of marriage. Nadia shocks everyone by revealing that she was carrying Kane's child while explaining where she went during her mystery year away from Citadel. In order to give birth covertly, she traveled to Valencia and stayed with Rahai, the father, played by Paul Baisley, whom Carter refers to as a terrorist. She goes back to Citadel after giving birth with the intention of telling Kane the truth, but both of their memories have been erased as a result of the train explosion from the pilot episode of Citadel. Given that she didn't know who they were in Citadel's first 10 minutes and that they've repeatedly tried to murder her since then, the revelation that Nadia wasn't the mole shouldn't have been a significant shock. Nadia and Mason's child changes everything. Nevertheless, Citadel Episode 5 dispelled any uncertainty over Nadia's allegiance. The personal stakes for both have been significantly raised by the revelation that she and Kane had a kid. The discovery that Kane, Kyle has a kid he was unaware of comes as a shock to him, while Nadia suffers the grief of having to miss the first eight years of her daughter's life. The episode closes on a cliffhanger with the revelation that Dahlia has kidnapped their daughter and has threatened to kill Kane and Nadia unless they assist her in stealing nuclear missiles from a Russian submarine. This creates the framework for the main protagonist's personal and catastrophic stakes to be present in Citadel's conclusion. There you have it all. What do you think about Nadia and Citadel? Share your thoughts in the comments. I will see you next.